Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Florida East Coast Railway ES44C4. And I think that's the newest version of the GE Evolution Series diesel locomotives, and it's for my people down in Florida. So yeah, this is what it looks like. There's a lot of detail that went into this. And let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, let's take um, another brick stairs and add the front plow. Like this, you want to just make sort of like this U shape like that and add uh, upside down another brick stairs to the sides of it. And the very top, let's add five blocks wide black concrete. And also coupling using another brick uh, slab and ship wire hooks on the sides for the air brakes. And the middle part, we want to make it so it is 34 blocks long. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then we want to make this 5 blocks wide on top. And 3 blocks of black concrete on the bottom. Add upside down another brick stairs in the corners. And add our coupling using another brick slab and then show fire hooks and let's add a secondary wall like uh, two blocks away from the edge like that <clears throat> just make a two by five of black concrete same thing in the front just leave a gap and that's where we're going to put our stairwell so for the stairs we're going to use um, oak wood slab and just add like two of them in each corner like this and after you do that we're going to fill in the middle part so it is three blocks wide so just take our black concrete again and go across all the way down here <clears throat> then the other side and you clear my throat it's all scratchy and once we do this we're going to use um, gray concrete and add in our wheels so there's three pairs of wheels and I just forgot that part okay so we're gonna take gray concrete first pair of wheels and then we're gonna add two uh, dark oak wood fence gates behind it and then the second pair of wheels and then fence gates again then the third pair of wheels and behind that use another brick slab like this five blocks wide and then we're going to use uh, hoppers and add it in front of each of the wheels like this and another brick slab in the spaces between the hoppers so that's pretty much what a bogey looks like and now we're going to use the same technique on the other side place our wheels down with the fence gates in between two of them and make sure we have uh, three pairs of wheels for each of the bogies and then add our five block wide another brick slab on the sides and then hoppers in front of all the wheels and then another brick slabs in between like so and that is the new <laughs> wheel bogey design that I have now all right, so now let's add like this giant box on the bottom, which I think is the fuel tank. So let's take um, black concrete, just skip a block away from the bogey, add a three blocks wide on the bottom. Same thing on the other side, just skip a block, make it three blocks wide. And then we, we're gonna connect the two together. Then after that, we're gonna have um, another brick stairs upside down along the sides for both sides and for this side there's going to be three black concretes in the front one two three two in the back in the middle there's going to be two um, stairs on each side and the center is going to be an oak woods uh, slab like that so the other side is just uh, black concrete all the way which is nice and easy And once we do that, we're going to add another brick slab right above the middle hopper of all the bogies, like this. 
and I don't know, maybe it's just something that's with the C4, that's something I noticed that they have. This little black spot. And we're gonna have oak wood slabs for the rest of it like this. Just go across the sides. Uh, whatever, whenever there's air, just fill it in with the slabs. Like so. All right. So after you do that, let's add in uh, these fences. So there's going to be another brick and oak. So the oak's going to be on the outer edge and another brick on the inside, two blocks tall, like this. Same thing in the back. Add oak to the sides, like that. And another brick in the middle. Then we're going to go to the front, add in our ditch lights. So actually, I'm going to wait till we get like the top of the hood. So let's take um, yellow concrete, add three. And on top of that, add five. And on top of that, add one in the middle. So it looks like that. Now we're going to have red concrete in this corner. And behind it, a block of quartz. And behind that, four red concrete. So let's add a two by four like this, both sides. And then we could have um, yellow on the back of it. Then black concrete. Then two yellows in front of it. And then red concrete right above where that quartz is. And we're going to take black concrete and add a row of three right behind the front. Then behind that, there is a row of red concrete. Then we're going to add in the windows using black stained glass block. Two on the outer edges. The middle is going to be red. Make a T shape. And the T, let's extend it to the rest of the cab like this add red in this back of the cab and black stained glass panes for the cab windows and the outer edge is going to be like an acacia wood stairs like this now for the hood we're going to have another brick stairs right here in this corner then towards the front we're going to have oak wood stairs facing outwards and Right in between each of them, we're gonna have another brick slab like that. Then we're gonna have um, black carpet right above that yellow tip. And now we can add in our ditch lights. So we're gonna have an item frame with white stained glass block inside of it. You wanna make like a triad like this. Add in our white. And that's how we make our lights. And then we're gonna have um, signs up here. It's going to be where you can put your numbers if you want to, because these are the number plates. Now for the side, let's add in a um, birch button right here, like that. And on the top, let's add two iron trap doors like this. Now let's also make, in, make this uh, banner right here. And actually, before we do that, we need to do the back first, so it's we don't have to make it again, so we're going to have three um, yellow like that. Then diagonally, right behind it, we're going to have red. And then two yellows like this. Now we can add in our banners, which look like that, for Florida East Coast. So uh, to make it, we're going to use um, yellow banner. Add a row of black ink sack on top then a row of black insect in the middle. I'm going to take that banner and you want to make it so we have like three copies of it. So once we have three copies of it, we're going to take the first one, add dead to line yellow in this corner so that there's a diagonal. Then we're going to take the second one, do the same thing, but the other side. And then the middle one, just leave that alone, just add a yellow border around it. And then we're going to add a yellow border around the other two. So it looks like this. And for the last one, same thing. 
now we have our three banners just place the middle one which is straight in the middle and then the side ones which are diagonal so it looks like that and we do the same thing in the back got a nice logo and on the top of it we'd add red concrete two blocks on top and for this side just one block and let's go work a bit in the middle section so we want to have this section that is six blocks long so red concrete one two three four five six the other side there's like this giant um, box so that's gonna be six blocks as well but a two by six so one two three four five six make it two blocks tall and on top of that we're gonna add yellow like this and the other side we want to make it so it goes inside like that like an inner wall just red and yellow like the other side and then on top of that is a layer of red so this side it goes inside one block Outside like that. <laughs> I hope that wasn't confusing. So uh, now let's add um, this door banner right here. So this is what it looks like. So we're going to take a black banner and add a rose red border around it. And then we'd have a 2x3 rose red on the bottom and a 1x3 dandelion yellow row on the bottom of that. And that's how you make our door banner, which we're going to place on the back of both sides of the cab, like this. Now let's work on the back section. So let's add these three vents of bedrock. So just take bedrock, two blocks tall, and then skip a block, another one, and skip block, another one, so that there's three. The other side, it has the break, so that's going to be uh, red on the bottom then a uh, piston this is for the wheel to break the locomotive I think and then the other two bedrock vents like this then we're going to add uh, the inner wall of red like this all the way to the back in between each of them all the way to the front and then there will be a second um, layer of red goes across again like so and then we need to add in this yellow so we're gonna extend it so it lines up with the bedrock at the very edge like this and on top of that we're gonna add a uh, red all the way to the front like this and I skipped the yellow one because there, there is the logo for Florida East Coast. There's writing on the side, which is kind of weird. So uh, the writing, it does not appear like in the same place for both sides. Like this side is more closer to the front for some reason. And this side is closer to the back. You can see it's underneath the radiator. So to do that, uh, let's do this side first. So there's going to be two yellows. And then... Uh, two black and then one yellow and then two black one yellow two black so that there's like three two block um, segments of black now for the other side we're just going to add one more yellow to this side and then just do the same exact thing and the rest of the gaps is just yellow so if you did it right it's going to be like asymmetrical all right so now let's add in um, this middle part so you go to where like this is the middle add a red like that and add in this acacia fence gate for the horn now we're gonna add a 3x3 three three box around it using acacia wood slabs and the front of that's going to be a row of acacia wood stairs facing the back behind it this bedrock vents on the sides and skip two blocks on the side another vent skip another two another vent while well, this side we're going to skip three and there's a vent so it should look like this and we're going to fill in the middle and the rest of the gaps with red 
and add in a carpets to cover up all of them. And we can also add in acacia wedding buttons to sides like this. And also uh, some Minecraft ladders, two vents right here, like so. The other side, there's going to be like a bedrock vent. It's going to line up with the middle wheel, like so. And what else do we have? Um, let's work on this back top section. So there's going to be like uh, three by three, but we need to put um, another row of acacia uh, wood slabs. And now we can add three by three of red. And there will be uh, this iron trap door right here for a vent. And now we need to add in uh, two uh, red wall blocks in the middle. And add red concrete border around it. And behind that, we're going to have just a straight line of red all the way to the back. Now we're going to add a case show. Wooden stairs to the sides like this and continues along so that leave like these two blocks alone. So there's like four and then five in the back. Then we're going to work a bit on the bottom. So just add one like that. Skip two, add another one. Same thing on both sides. Then we're going to have um, nether bricks. So there's going to be two nether brick stairs like that. The one in the back, it is four blocks long, so one, two, three, four. Same thing like that. All right, so next we're going to have um, a birch fence gate opened up in the back for our twin lights. And acacia wood slabs to the back. And we want to cover up this top area like so. All right, it's looking good so far. Now let's add in the fences. So let's take another brick, go right over here, skip block, add one and skip every other block till we reach the back, I guess. Now for the other side, it's a bit different. Just place one here, every other block, and then there will be a diagonal down like um, this shape. I believe that's what I did. And every other block. Now let's add spider string in between uh, each of the fences so that they can hold up the carpet railing. And I wonder if that, yep, yeah, I did add it right there. This side, same thing. Except that part, you leave that alone because that is the stairs. So take our another brick stairs, add it in between this diagonal so that they connect. And the rest should just be a uh, black carpet on top like this. Going along. All the way around. And I wonder if there's anything else to do after this because... I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, I accidentally deleted it. All right, so um, so apparently this section I need to make it um, black carpet on top, like that. So let's see if there's anything else to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Florida East Coast ES44 C4. In Minecraft I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more train tutorials like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time